WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny. Well, it's actually not sunny. It's mostly cloudy Delray Beach, Florida. But this is your 11 a.m. update. We've got a sea of green out there. All the U.S. indices that we track trading the upside. All the S&P sectors are trading the upside as well. Let's start it off. you got the Dow up 405 points. It's up uh, one and two tenths percent, one and a half percent for the S&P, 66 points there. One and a half percent for the Nasdaq 100, 213 points, one and eight tenths for the Russell. That's a 30 point move, two percent for the semis. They're up 68 points. You've got gold trading up four bucks. Silver's up 14 cents. Lights recruit is up a buck. Natural gas is up down three cents. And the 30 year treasure up two points and 11 ticks. Print out at 112.25. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES mini upper left hand side. And right now, the question is, who's stronger, the buyers or the sellers? The sellers are sitting right at 43.17. And where are we trading right now? 43.19. Don't know who's going to win this battle, but if we do get a close about 43.18 uh, today, the ES Mini likely headed higher. You got the spot volatility, which is below yesterday's low, and it's below the 50-day exponential moving average. This suggests to you and I that price wants to go target that lower Bollinger Band. That lower Bollinger Band is in the 1431 level. If that happens, the ES Mini will go ahead and take out that uh, resistance level of that daily profile. The NQ doing the same thing. Now, in the case of the NQ, it has an even more difficult task because it's got a sell zone. There are a lot of sellers located between 14.838 and 14.938. But price right now is trading out 19. 14,950 out there. So a close about 14,938 today is going to suggest we've got further to go to the upside. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, that's really been trading within a sideways consolidation. Up at the top is its Rhodes Mintum indicator uh, top, and at the uh, bottom, it's really a set of swing points. But price right now is just consolidating with inside that daily profile. If you take a look at Goldilocks, not really doing a whole lot. It is just consolidating with inside its daily profile. It is bullish in structure out there. Watch the lows at 1975.60, as well as the highs at 2014.20. If we take a look at silver, doing the same thing as gold, just consolidating with inside that daily profile, support at 2253, resistance at 2330. And if we take a look at light sweet crude, Yesterday, just closing slightly below the bottom of that daily profile. If it remains below 81.43 at day's end, 78.51 would be its next stop. In the case of the uh, natural gas, not really much to report on here. We take a look at that 30-year treasury, though. That's headed up to the top of its daily profile. That resistance level where the sellers are located, 113 and 19 kicks. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. But if you have to start for Thursday, please have a terrific one. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.